What's going on, everybody, and welcome to Series E. We had our Thanksgiving break last week, but we are starting it up right up again here. Uh, of course, today is Tuesday, which means it is our open sign-up day, and so our nine partner teams will be facing off against our open sign-up teams. I'm Jameson, joined once again by T-Square. Tom, how was your... Rice Krispies, and it just seems like when someone has the kunai, they just... In, uh, information fire? can be a little bit difficult, and... A look, Pop Tarts. Oh, right now is that Fruit Ninja took a lot of damage, threw down that bubble. Is gonna be able to get the full heal, and now Decoys pushes in. Oh no, he's aggressive, continuing to push the team fights now as they drop on in. Joey Blackout has gone down with the pulse of dream. This is a completely different. If I could make any flavored Pop Tart, and I've said this in the Twitch chat before, in the arena or the esports arena Twitch chat, I would make. A pizza flavored pop tart, not a hot pocket. It's not a hot pocket, okay? It's different. You harness the essence of the pizza. You extract the flavors from the pizza, and then you inject it straight into the pop tart, and then you surround that flavor with a pop tart crumb surrounding, kind of like a calzone. Still not a hot pocket though. Still not a hot pocket. And then you frost it with a tomato flavored frosting, okay? That's like your sauce on the on the outside, right? This is your pizza flavored Pop-Tart. <laughs> course team razor they do break the triple digits with 115 points securing first place but it was much closer there in second place than we expected team rice krispies will get that second place finish along with the share of the 500 dollars pot today and with 91 points but team intel were right behind them 85 points just six points short so super close race for second place there as uh, team pop tarts were also in the running but Unfortunately, went down a little bit early on and they finished there in fourth place with 65 points. All right, welcome ladies and gentlemen to Series E as uh, it is Pop-Tarts week and now we are heading into the Pro Nights to slow down Team Pop-Tarts who were not happy with that third party but now playing off the rock position. It looks like they will be able to finish off Team Cheez-It. Oh no, if the last remaining member is going to be that much healthier at this point. Scan comes out and they will be able to finish him off. Hambino goes down. Now the third party, Team Imp again. Our, our uh, Team Jesus having a really, really rough go of things. Getting contested and now getting chased. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's our final reveal, Series E Pro Night Pop-Tarts Week. Who are our top two squads? The EU squads for running it, but two brains, one controller with a massive game. A number six victory will go ahead and topple all of them. That's going to do it for us here at Series E. We will be back, of course, same <laughs> So we got pop tart hands. They're not like perfectly on my. You know what? We're gonna fix this one because that looks weird. Perfect. I'm Fat Fruit Ninja, and I play Apex Legends for Team Pop Tarts. We have the Pop Tarts hand wrist accessories, guaranteed to improve your gameplay. Plus. The sun deflector? Why wouldn't you need that? You and this week it was week Pop Tarts. Team Pop Tarts is here, and unfortunately, they had a great day yesterday. We're gonna talk about what happened today shortly. But how are you guys feeling today? Uh, could be better, but overall, not too bad. I mean, we saw what you guys were doing on open day. Hey, I just want to say we saw what you were guys doing on open day. You guys start off so hot in the first game. You mopped the entire first 10 teams in the lobby, basically. If you're able to get out of that situation that you were in, I feel like you guys would have put up maybe a 35-point game with how much you guys were slaying out overall. So it could have been something record-breaking for Series E, but you got stopped. And then you ended up placing third or fourth overall, which is still pretty solid. Today, you ended up placing in last place. We'll talk about what happened, but I think it first starts with the drops. So give us a little bit of information on what was going on with the drops, first of all. Well, on Tuesday's league, or on Tuesday's league, we don't have the pro team, so we're able to take Frag West uncontested, which we wanted to do for a long time. But uh, 
Normally we have contested by one of the pro teams, Navi or NRG on uh, Wednesday. So not having a drop spot makes it a lot more difficult to rotate and fight other teams that we want to. And what was the plan when the pro teams start sending it over that way? Because who do you have landing on that side? You have, what is it? It's not third impact. It's third impacts cool. and you have epicenter. Navi landing. You have Navi landing over there, right? Is that, is that correct? In frag West. Frag West. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Navi lands frag West. So Navi was contesting you guys continuously, and then you guys had to call an audible. What was the audible? When, when did you guys decide that you wanted to make that play? To leave Frag West? Yeah. Uh, it came when uh, NRG 50-50'd us on, what is that, three weeks now, three weeks ago? NRG 50-50, uh, we didn't win our fight, yeah. so there's no reason to stay there and split the loot. A lot of people don't realize that there's a huge metagame that goes involved in this. You have to be involved in the scrims. You have to be active in Series E and the tournaments in order to understand exactly where all these teams rotate from and where they land, because that's a huge deal. You have to know when you're going and playing in the ALGS, what lobby, what team you, teams you have in your lobby, and what each team likes to do based on who's on the roster. So when there's a team that you feel like isn't going to go Fragment West, is that where you guys are going to go? Yes. Oh, yeah. A thousand percent. You guys are confident fighting over there. Now, you don't have to worry about the EU teams over there. If NRG, say, perhaps is in the lobby, are you, are you guys planning on contesting them, or are you guys going to kind of save that secret for a little bit later? We'll save that secret for a little later. Definitely. All right. <laughs> Understandable. It's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see if that pans out. Now, uh, Blady, I heard you saying before before we started that you guys fought a lot of the pro teams and it didn't go as planned today. Can you elaborate on that? Um, we had a few bumps today, but I we came I came today really confident, and that was good. And it's so good that I feel that confidence that we can have that. Yesterday, I don't think we um, did that bad at all. We had a few gifts, but uh, those didn't stop us. And when we, it, I feel like it transferred over to today. Um, well, but when it came to some of uh, the positioning on the team, it wasn't what it could be. And I feel like we're getting better on that. Yeah, one of the things that I noticed, and I was touching based on this while casting, is that you guys are great at team fighting. But Lucas, it's really up to you to have to put your team in better positions. I feel like you guys rotate fairly late. And then it's like you guys don't know if you want to take the fight or not. And yep. for me, I feel like if you guys were to just actually commit to something, then give or just give yourself a little bit more time instead of kind of just poking around and, you know, sitting around maybe looting too long or whatever it is. Those are valuable seconds, 15, 20 seconds, whatever it is. It seems like you guys need to search for more opportunities and start with your portal. If it's not there, look for plan B, look for plan C. And for me, that's what I feel like. If you guys are able to do that, you guys will skyrocket right there towards the top partner teams. Is, is that something you noticed, Lucas? I heard you say I 100% that. agree. We're too wishy-washy one deciding whether or not what to do. And that ultimately comes down to me being decided whether we need to push or we just need to leave. Yeah, Fat Fruit Ninja, what do you think about that? How are you guys going to be able to fix that? You know, that's actually something I've talked about. Um, you know, I've been in the game for a while and I, I, not to say I have a better understanding of the game than Lucas, but I have just ex more experience in general. Right. And I try to tell him, you know, you just gotta, you just gotta, you know, like stick to it. You gotta make that call. I say that all the time. You just gotta make that call. And I, you, you're a hundred percent right there. Um, we are a little wishy-washy. Uh, we, we lack some of the coordination that these pro teams have. That's why you see us do so well on those Tuesday days, because we do have that skill. But on those Tuesday days, there's, you know, you get away with some things and everybody knows that so you get away with some things. And on Wednesdays, you don't get away with much things. So that just takes time, practice, focus, practice, and it just takes that confidence. So I 100% agree that if we do just make that call, we can soar. It just takes time to get that confidence. And it seems like we're seeing a lot of stuff from two brains, one controller specifically today, what it's like when you have two players on the team that are really good at calling where the zone's going to go. And the zones are really hard to predict unless you're able to find one that you recognize, you know, consistently, but it's not about the zones being hard to predict. It's the amount of teams that are already gatekeeping in certain spots. So, uh, you know, you'll be surprised. It's easier when you're sitting in the casting area. Um, to look at everything from a broader perspective. But a lot of areas sometimes end up being open 
that you may not necessarily think were open, but it really can't just, you know, rely on Lucas, you know, and, and all him. It really has to be a combined team effort for all of you guys to get together and, you know, start pinging spots and throwing around ideas. And I went through the same kind of growing phases that you guys are talking about. And once Lucas continues to, you know, push the envelope and, and starts taking different routes, you guys are going to recognize these scenarios a lot easier. So it's nice that you guys are recognizing that, that are, you guys are open to feedback. And like I said, you guys show what it takes on Tuesdays to, you know, team fight, to call zones, to do exactly everything that you guys need to do to win. It's just that when you go and you have one of these most stacked vibes like we do on Pro Day, you have very little real estate to work with because everybody's already set up in a certain spot, right? So, uh, you know, that's what's going to be exciting for me to watch you guys kind of, you know, move forward with. And I hope next week's, you know, a better week for you. Blighty, how do you, how do you feel about next week? And how do you feel about the ALGS going on this weekend and, and potentially making it into the playoffs? Um, I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. I'm confident that it's going to happen. And it's also um, a good way to test our strength because after this LCQ happens, we get to see the playoffs happen even if we don't make it. If we make it, props to us. Really good job. And then we can move on take a break, come back even stronger when uh, East series starts up again. Series E, I mean. Yeah, and, and it's going to happen pretty fast too. So, you know, I, I'm really, you know, wishing you guys well. I think that, you know, I learned a lot about watching you guys this week. I hope you guys did too. And, you know, I think that you guys have all the confidence in the world and after watching you guys put together what I thought was some of the best apex we've seen from one of our partners teams to start off game number one i think if you guys just continue to ride that wave you guys are going to do great things so best of luck in the algs this weekend and you know we'll be rooting for you I appreciate so. that thank you Tom. thank you so much all right guys we'll see you next week we'll also see you tuesday and wednesday for more series e 